Hello everyone, my name is BJ and today I'll be showing off how I made my 2x9 uh, collapsible bridge design seen here. Now first off, let me say that a lot of people have been saying that they know how to make a 2x2 two two, but they don't know how to make anything larger than that. Well, let me address that by saying that it's going to be 2 by something. You can't really make it wider than 2. And uh, if you make it more than 2x2, two two, you're going to have to use redstone torches along the inside of the walls. So now let's get down into the mechanisms of it and take a look at what's going on. Alright, here we are down in the redstone wiring. Uh, this place is really crowded with a lot of redstone and pistons and stuff. And it's going to be hard to explain in this type of environment. So I'm going to clean this up a bit and then get back to you in a minute. Alright, I'm back, and basically I've just made a mini replica of what one of the sides of the collapsible bridge would look like. Um, as you can see here, it's just these two pistons that push out this block and this piston. And, uh, well here, just let me show you what happens. Yeah, like that. As you can see, this piston is getting ignited by this redstone torch. And then when I turn it off that happens and uh... so if you're paying attention to this redstone torch you'll realize that when i pushed these both out the redstone torch stayed on throughout the entire process yet when i retracted the bridge um, the redstone torch went out for just a second in case you didn't catch that let's watch it again now uh... that is because when i'm pushing these this block out I really don't need anything to happen to the redstone torch I need that to ignite this piston so I just leave it as it is yet when it's retracting um, I need to take power away from the torch and then supply it again uh, very quickly because when I'm turning the redstone torch off I am actually powering this block so that means if this piston was right here and this and you were powering this block this piston would extend so when these two pistons are retracting it that's when I take the power away see it ignites right before it gets back into spot otherwise it would extend straight up where it's at so now you're probably wondering how I achieved this effect so, um, this is how. Now, this is just an AND gate, an inverter, and an RX NOR latch, I believe it's called. Just all hooked up in a way uh, to make what I needed to happen, happen. As you can see, uh, when the input is on, it sends uh, an input into this RS NOR latch, which sends a signal to this redstone torch, turning it off. And then when I turn the signal off, it sends a signal through here, turning this redstone torch off, giving a power power through this torch, which sends a reset signal to the RS NOR latch, and a signal to our output. As you can see, I'll try to face this way and hit the button. And uh, this is what's causing the little um, delay where the delay amount of how long it's on and how long it's off is here I can show you what would happen if we kept the torch um, off while we retracted the piston in by adding more delay to that As you can see when we flip it off now it's going to break when we flip it back in see how it did that how the piston extended see again that's because the actual block was powered. And then if we reset this to 1, it works perfectly again. So yeah, that's how I made it. Um, I'll give you a look at the full scale size because it's a little different than this. It's obviously not in this small compact area. So I'll show you what it actually looks like um, on the bridge. So here we are back at the bridge. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of what it looks like. Now uh, the first thing you'll see is this AND gate. 
It's quite a weird little looking AND gate, but it allows me to turn the bridge on and off from both sides of it. As you can see, the input from over there travels down here and activates this. And then we come over here, and uh, this is our redstone repeater lighting all the uh, two pistons on this side. And then we come over here, there's a little tunnel. And we go through here. And then it's lighting all the pistons on this side. And then we come down through this way. And it sends it through that little gate I showed you. Except without removing any extra blocks. It's actually uh, built into the ground. And then that just sends an output into here. Where it goes through the torches. And that's how it was done. Um, I hope this helped. Uh, I hope it was understandable. I know it's a little bit complex and hard to understand. Uh, if anybody can tell me what this uh, little gate I made is called, like if it's called anything, because I know there's other circuitry that is called T flip flop, which makes a button into a lever, and this basically made a lever into a button. So uh, a reverse T flip flop maybe or something. But yeah, um, that's how this was done, and uh, I hope you can make your own. This was only 2 by 9 because I was just testing it out. The, you can make this a max of 2 by 15 without extending uh, redstone power. Because redstone only goes 15 blocks. Um, so yeah, hope you can build this yourself now. Have a good day.